Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. Um, the schedule has been released. The schedule has been released. I, I'm a little late because I was watching the game. I seen the schedule thing on there and I was gonna look at the schedule. I think when I started watching the game, the game was getting good and stuff. Um, Fuzzy Monkey, I need you, I need your Celtics to win so y'all can play the Heat in the next round so we can get our revenge. Our revenge on you guys. But, the schedule released, and the Steelers finally got a home game to open the season up. We haven't had a home game to open the season up. I don't know in how long. Like every, like every time, I, like every year we see away, 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 away. Like we always on the road, always on the road and stuff like that. But we finally got a um, home game to open it up, as you guys can see. On that, I didn't like about the um the schedule. I didn't like um the primetime games early on. Like we got a lot of primetime games early on. We got Monday Night Football, Sunday Night Football. I feel like they should have spread that out a little bit. We should have got a Sunday Night Football later in the season or something. But they gave us the um, two primetime games back to back, which is cool. But I would prefer it later down the line like that. But let's go ahead and get to the schedule. As you guys can see on the screen, I have it on the side somewhere when I edit this. And um, the first game is the 49ers. Um, the 49ers and the Steelers, two different type of teams. You know, 49ers, the team... You know, based off a lot of scheme. Steelers got a team a team based off a lot of like it's built around a lot of playmakers. Playmakers type ability and just, you know, wheel and grit. Like that. It's different different type of coaches a little bit. Because Kyle Shanahan culture is just a hey, he's gonna get you in the right spot. He's a strategist, he's gonna put you in the right place and put the pieces in the right spot. Mike Tomlin, um, leadership and coaching is a little different. He's gonna just want you to go out there and do what you're capable of. Once you go out there and just Will yourself and push yourself beyond your limits. You have no limits. You have no ceiling. You have no potential. Your potential is limitless. So go out there and just do it. So you have, it kind of have different styles, different different um type of um leaderships and stuff. These teams are very interesting, and very rich franchises throughout history. Um, but we're talking about 2023 49ers. They have a stacked roster. They're gonna be a very tough game um for us and for them too as well because our defense is no slouch. Our defense, I believe, is. I think our defense is the best defense in the league, like that. It got, or if you don't think otherwise, it got to be top three because Steelers' defense is very, very good. You have T.J. Wyatt, Mika Fitzpatrick, Alex Highsmith, Cam Hayward, um, guys who are capable of going out there and wreaking havoc. And then you got Minka Fitz. I, I already mentioned Minka. Minka out there who can cover and go crazy. I believe he's the best safety in the league. Patrick Peterson, the veteran there. Got Joey Porter Jr. Now it's gonna be nice to see out there. But um, that game right there gonna be tough. So I'm gonna leave that game indecisive. I don't know what the 49ers quarterback status is going to be because Trey Lance is um Trey Lance had a broken ankle. I don't know if he's fully recovered yet. And I know Brock Purdy has some type of tear in his shoulder. So I don't know who the quarterback is for the 49ers is. So we're going to leave that game indecisive. Um the Browns game, Monday Night Football game. Oh uh, yeah, all the primetime games, you guys know I'm gonna be live streaming the primetime games. So the first three weeks I'm live streaming because the opener, the primetime games, and then some of the rivalry games too, at the Raven games and the Bengal games and some of the other games too as well. So I'm gonna try to at least stream about eight or nine uh of the games like that. So look forward to that. But the next game is the Browns. We gotta beat the Browns. Monday night football, all lights on nuts like that. We got to beat them. Because we really could have swept them last year. Mr. Bisky just made a better, some better decisions. Maybe if Pickett started the full season, they could have won that game. But I'm going to give us the W for that one. So right there, I'm going to give us the W. Okay, Raiders game. Last year, we um, had a, a nice game with the Raiders. That was a good game um, in honor of the legendary Franco Harris RIP. Um, so we got to go out there and just, you know, um, we broke the curse for the Raiders curse. Because at first, we could not beat the Raiders for some reason. It was a lot of crazy things happening. Remember the, um, the one year... We see, um, uh, like, the previous ones. Remember Chris Boswell slipping? He did some slip and slide thing on the misfield goal. It was a nice play design, too, that the Steelers called, too, on the previous play before. I think it was a play where I believe somebody caught it, and they tossed it to Juju Smith-Schuster. He ran and got us in field goal range, and Chris Boswell slipped or something happened. I'm like, come on, man. And then that's when they played that little old little baseball field, terrible um, stadium they just play at. And then we see um, that one year, T.J. White, I believe, got injured. He got hurt on one of those. I think, I think it was T.J. Watt. Yeah, T.J. Watt got hurt in one of those games, and we, we started off very high. He hit the forced fumble, and then we lost to the Raiders, and then we finally beat the curse on last year. So hopefully the curse is finally broken, and I got us winning that game on Sunday Night Football. Next game is the Texans. We're at the Texans on um, two back-to-back road games. I got us winning against the Texans. I can't see the Texans 
us losing against the Texans. The Texans got C.J. Stroud, of course. We know um, Will Anderson, but they gonna, they're rookies, so they're going to be um, trying to get their groove and get their stride and kind of build themselves up a little bit. So I'm going to take the Steelers to win that game. Now the Ravens game, Steelers and Ravens always go at it. It's um, two of them. Um, we put the Ravens the last game of the season as well, but we put the Ravens early on. Um, I'll probably say that game right there is indecisive because the Ravens and Steelers always find a way to either split or they'll be like, or, you know, or maybe sometimes like before last year, we was sweeping the Ravens. We swept them back to back years and stuff. Um, Lamar Jackson has never beaten, he beat the Steelers once. Yeah, he beat the Steelers once. That's when they had, um, Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph and Doug Hodges was there. That's when Mason Rudolph got knocked out the game. Uh, that's the only time Lamar Jackson has beaten the Steelers, I believe so. Yeah, because... He have, I don't think he ever, yeah, that's the only time he's beaten them because the other times he lost. Like that. The Steelers have a pretty good record against Lamar and pretty good numbers against him, too. So I'm going to leave that game right there. I'm going to leave it indecisive. I'm going to come back to it later. And then our next week is a week six, which is a bye week. I don't like the bye week being that early. I, I prefer a bye week like later in the season so you guys can recuperate and stuff like that. Like a bye week around week eight and week nine. It's like in the, kind of like the half point. Week six is a little early, but it is what it is. Um, the next game is the Rams. Rams are a team that's rebuilding. Got a lot of questions, a lot of holes and stuff like that. I feel like the Steelers can go in L.A. and beat the Rams. I'm going to give them a W right there. Next one is the Jags. The Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence is very good. Tragedy TN. We Somehow the Steelers always struggle against the Jaguars. It doesn't matter what Jaguars team it is. Now, at one time, we played the Jaguars. That's when he had the third string quarterback. And we think he got picked off four times. Well, we did pretty good against them. But most of the time, the Jaguars have a team that's actually good and good quarterback. Steelers be struggling sometimes overall against the Jaguars. I'm going to leave that game indecisive. We can come back to that as well. Titans, Thursday night football, got to be the Titans. Steelers be owning the Titans. So we're going to get the W right there. Packers, they kind of rebuild stage a little bit. So I will hope my team can beat them. So we're going to get a W for the Steelers for that one. Um, Browns, um, I thought the Steelers can go into Cleveland and beat the Browns uh, again and sweep them. But, you know, the AFC North is a very shaky thing. And then playing the Browns on the road, you never know. So I'm going to leave that indecisive. And then you got the Bengals. I feel like the Steelers may lose to the Bengals on the road. And then I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and win at home versus the Bengals like that. I feel like the Bengals are a good team. And we probably split with them like that because they kind of like emerging as those guys who become our rivals a little bit. The rivals, basically, over the past few years. I thought they were split like that because the Bengals are very hard to beat at home. I thought the gang would be close. I know last year we beat them in the opener, but the opener is a little different. You know, teams are not the same as they are in week. What's this week? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Week twelve. Yeah, I should have wrote the weeks down on here. But week twelve, teams are different from week one. So like we seen the Bengals in the opener last year. They lost to the Steelers. They lost to the Cowboys. But the Bengals at the end of the year, guess what they went to? The AFC Championship. So teams kind of find their stride later in the season. So I would say the Bengals beat us the first matchup, but then we got our revenge at home and beat them. And then the Cardinals, we should win that game. Um, Patriots, Thursday night football. Somehow the Patriots always, we always find, somehow find a way to lose the Patriots. I remember Tom Brady throughout the years and just some wacky stuff. Like last year was some wacky stuff. Goner, I know you're a former Patriot, but you gave them you gave them an um, easy one with the um, the botched punt that he had. And then we've seen, who is that? A killer with a spoon. Just get mossed by... um. Who is it over there? Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar, who was in Philly before, who couldn't catch the ball. And that's why Philly got rid of him at first. Like that. But then he come over here to the Patriots, and then he just moss um with a spoon in the midair before halftime. And they walk in and they kind of like bolster some stuff up. And then Mr. Biscuit throwing an interception in our own territory. Like that kind of bolts some stuff up too. I think he hit, I think he threw it the ball way too high and just adjusted how to grab it and it got tipped up and picked off. Like, come on, man. It was a lot of wacky stuff that happened. But hopefully the Steelers can go out there and win it. But I'm going to leave that indecisive. It's Thursday night football, short week two. We're going to see how that goes. At the Colts, I got the Steelers winning that one. Um, At the Seahawks, that's a tough one too. Geno Smith is a good player. And it's hard to play at the um, what they call the 12th man stadium. Basically like that because they go out there and they make a lot of noise. I'm going to leave that indecisive. Then the last one is at the Ravens. If, it, if this, is this requiring the Steelers to like win a division? Or anything that's like playoff implications, I can't see the Steelers losing this like that. The Steelers can go into, I can see the Steelers going to the territory and beating the Ravens. So I'm gonna take the Steelers winning that one as well. So I'm calling already. I'm saying the Steelers will sweep the Ravens. Well, yeah, sweep the Ravens. I think so. 
Well, actually, let me, let me make sure if I say it. Let me go back to the indecisive games. 49ers, I'm going to give us the win because it's early on. Now, if it was later in the year, I might say them because they have a lot of depth. I'm going to give us the win right there. The Ravens, the first one, I'm going to give us the win. The Jags, I'm going to say the Jags beat us right there. The Steelers find a way to lose some of the ones you think they're supposed to win. I'm going to say the Browns beat us on the road, too. So we lose to the Browns and the Bengals back-to-back. -back. I, don't, I don't like the back-to-back. -back. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Hopefully, we're going to defeat it, of course. But, you know, sometimes the Steelers, you know, you know our Steelers have our hearts. And they kind of, like, have us up and down. And they have, somehow, they always find a way to lose. Be like, dang, I would lose that one. I'm going to tell you the Steelers lose to the Seahawks as well. Um, And I'm going to say... Mm, I'm going to say the Steelers, Steelers and Patriots. I'm trying to see. Because you would think initially the Steelers would beat the Patriots. But somehow, some way, the Patriots be cheating sometimes. But they'll find a way to just get us or something. Hopefully that won't happen. But I'm going to leave that game in the side. So I'm going to say win slash loss. So potentially I got the Steelers going either 12-5 and five or 13-4. and four. That's my record right there. You write that, guys. 13 and 4 or 12 and 5. And that should be enough wins to help you win the division. Like that. I got us beating the Bengals once, splitting 1 1 with them. I got us sweeping the Ravens, you know, beating them 2 0. I got us splitting with the Browns, which is just crazy. You'd be like, wouldn't it be the way around? But I think somehow, some way, the Steelers find a way to lose one of those games. You'd be like, how do we lose that? You come in, you know, I, you know those games that always happen like every year. We'd be like, Come on, man. It's always that one little stinker. I think that Browns might be a stinker because it'd be, it'd be um, I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like that one in like in in the Browns, like at the Browns at their home would be a little uh, game where the Steelers kind of like collapse like that. But overall, I think the Steelers would do good and be twelve and five or either thirteen and four. So that's my prediction for the Steelers. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. I think I take a twelve and five record. A 13 and 4 record. I would love an undefeated record. I don't want us to lose to anybody. But I would take a 13 and 4 record or 12 and 5 record. So I got us winning our first one, two, three, four, five games. Or well, first six games. Then losing to the Jags. Then winning against the Titans. And then winning against the Packers. And then we got to go to the Browns. Lose there. We got to travel again and play the Bengals. We lose there. Kind of go down a little bit. Like that. Steelers lost through their last um five. And then you'd be like, oh, Steelers get back on the win streak. Beat the Cardinals. Maybe beat the Patriots. Beat the Colts. Um, beat the Bengals um, this time in our home, and then lose the Seahawks, and then finish off with the strong and beat the Ravens to seal the division. That's kind of how my prediction is going like that. Hopefully, we go undefeated. That'd be perfect. But my prediction is either 13 to 4 or 12 and 5. But let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. I said that already. But I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.